Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Jerry Ball, and this is part 9. In the last episode, we went through not all of World 8, in this, in this case it was only World 8A, and the reason for that was because 8A actually held an important plot point and even a boss battle at the end of that level. We got to crash in on the wedding that was about to occur between, between Tom and Emmy, and... So we crashed in on that, and the evil wizard tried to stop us by apparently transforming Tom and and everybody even into a giant blob, kind of like what Jerry is, except a giant pink one, which would have been even more shameful to Tom. So I bet Tom is off sitting somewhere, being all regretful that the wizard even helped him. I mean, that wizard is totally to totally turning against Tom by turning by turning him into a ball like that. But anyway, we're over that now, and now we still have a quest to do, because Emmy is still held captive, and we still need to rescue her from the unnamed evil wizard. So we need to go through the final level of this game. We are at the final level of this game. Let's do it. So let's do it. Oh no, I see more spikes in the picture. This does not look good. This does not look good. Ooh boy, there are glass windows, and they look formidable, because what's more formidable than glass windows? And we have more of these weird coin enemies. Why are there so many of these weird coin enemies in what in the underground? But I guess that makes sense, because people frequently toss their coins into sewers. So I guess that does make sense, right? And the sewers contain all these bad stuff that, that make anything turn evil and want to attack you, right? Seriously, these coin enemies are all over the place here. I don't know why that is. But this level also features one of those pipe mazes, the likes of which we saw in the previous level as well as a few other levels in this game. But yay, we got the jump, so hopefully that should make things a little easier. What's down here? Fish! Evil fish! Gee, everything in this in this level is evil. Even the fish are evil. Well, the fish have been evil all along, and there are more of those coin things, but worse yet. I know that if I emerge from the pipe when, at the same, when the coin enemies are right over me, they'll just cream me by just bumping into me, so I don't want that to happen, and apparently I can't go up there because there are spikes in the way, so I have no choice, I guess, but to go back over here. And hopefully not get hit by the coin enemies, or worse, die from them. I got killed by a coin! I got killed by a friggin' coin! I got killed by a friggin' coin! I got killed by a friggin' coin! Is that embarrassing or what? I got killed by a friggin' coin twice in a row! Wah! I hate this game! Why do I keep getting killed by friggin' coins? Friggin' coins! Too many friggin' coins! And coins are a, are a good thing in my Let's Play of Earthbound because they are my favorite- my, they are my character's favorite thing because I named my main character Mario. But still! Well, at least we're past that part, so I shouldn't be worried about it right now, right? And I'm hanging onto the seed for dear life, because I'm what- I don't want to encounter a situation later where- now, Okay, never mind, I guess I am gonna have to use the seed now. Well, I certainly don't hope we encounter any situations where I have to deal with the Arrows of Doom, in which case having the seed would have been way more useful. But here we have these annoying blocks that we had to just kind of squeeze through, which I guess is feasible because Jerry is a slime and therefore is amorphous and can slip to en through anything, right? Well, he can slip through pipes, which I guess is one thing. But then again, Mario could al also specialize in going through pipes, and Mario is chubby. So why does that even make any sense? I don't know why it does. Oh no! It's the Arrows of Doom again! But the Arrows of Doom don't even look like they even go down to the level where Jerry is at. As long as I can get past these things... Ah! Oh my gosh, I don't even want to know what's in that flower. I'm too scared by the arrows of doom, the arrow of doom that goes over there. I'm just worried about getting through this level as fast as possible so I can be battling the evil wizard who's holding Emmy captive, right? And I gotta make a save state just so that I don't have to backtrack later on. That's weird, because by the time I'm recording this, I actually realized a button shortcut to making a save state. I can literally assign that to a button rather than having to go into the menu every time and make a save state there. And I... We have these men that, for that, that I guess are wielding spears. I think those are spears. When I first started playing this game, I thought they were shovels, just because of how they were shaped. But I guess they're spears. What else could they be, right? They're supposed to be some sort of weapon, and a shovel just isn't deadly. Oh my gosh! I'm going to stop you with an evil shuttle. Hey, hold it! Stop right there! Or I'm going to beat you with my shovel. Although a shovel would, I guess, be a a, a a viable weapon, especially if you're in a zombie apocalypse and you don't have anything else to use. A shovel is a good thing to bonk zombie heads with, right? Because there's no much more fun than balking zombie heads with a shovel, right? Right? And hey, we got a jump again. Good, because we lost one before. Yay. And there's a pretty pink fireball with no red fireball to make love with. 
Well, that sucks. But hey, at least we got another point of HP. That'll help. Especially when de dealing with these arrows of doom. And hey, we have a pink fireball and a red fireball. Right, let's watch them go into orgasmic love. Orgasmic fiery love. I guess those fireball things just mate and then they and then they die right afterwards, just like some species of animal do. And hey, we even got another hit point as well, so now we're up to five HP. Which I guess makes sense, and I am gonna have to get rid of that jump in order to pick up to pick up the one up. Which is especially important since I lost two of my lives to the to those stupid coins. Why do those coins have to be so deadly? I know, right? And hey, we got another life, so now we're back to full health, which is good. And let's get the R just for the heck of it. I forgot what actually happens if we get all the letters, if we get all the Jerry letters. Maybe we gain an extra life or something to that effect. I forgot exactly what happens. I think it's you that you gain an extra life, if I remember correctly. And then we have these stupid arrow things we have to, we just have to duck under. And we're preventing fireballs from making lively, orgasmic love. <laughs> I know that kind of sounds perverted. Hey, here's the Y! No, I guess we just get our store score updated. Actually, I think we did gain an extra life. Now we're up to five lives, which is good. Hooray, it's really good. And we have falling fire, and we have iron. I don't know if we'll need iron. I don't even know. But let's get more balls, just because I feel like getting more balls. Jerry's gonna need all the balls he can get, because it's gonna take a lot of balls to take on an evil wizard when you're just a slime, right? I mean, I know you have the factor where where the evil wizard was the one who turned Jerry into the slime, but still. And there's no way we're gonna make that jump without getting rid of the iron, so I guess I'm gonna have to get rid of it, right? I don't know, can I make the jump? Maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, is there any way I can make that jump? Okay, I guess I can. I can just crawl up this ladder unless there's fire in my way. Well, gee. Ah! I want the iron, but I guess I just can't get it because the iron will prevent me from jumping and all over the place, and I like being able to jump. Ah. Well, hey, at least I'm back to full health, so at least that's something, right? And I just lost all my balls, but whatever. I think there's another ball flower up there anyway. Yeah, there's one right here. And I got another life, but that's not gonna matter, and I'm just gonna pick up more balls for the fight, I guess. But here it is. Once we go through that pipe that's on the right, we will be at the final boss. We will be facing the evil wizard that is holding, that is holding Emmy captive. See, this is not a very long game. We're at the final boss already, basically. Are you excited? Because I know I'm excited. Let's go take on this wizard. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so ready. I'm so ready to creep this wizard, especially since it betrayed not only me but Tom. Yep, there he is. Jerry, how did you get here? Well, you'll die here anyway. <laughs> and we don't even get a special piece of final battle music. Now this wi wizard will basically create clones of himself, and that's basically how he attacks. <laughs> And for some reason, his energy orbs are still persisting. I don't know why that is. I could seriously just keep hurting myself while I'm here. I don't know why this is happening. Quit killing me with your clones. Quit killing me with your clones. What is this, the Clone Wars? I feel like I am in an episode of Star Wars now. But anyway, this wizard will basically keep sending out clones of himself, and eventually he'll be destroyed. But I died, unfortunately, so I'm gonna have to try this again, and my cat just tried to disrupt my microphone. Cut it out, cat. Yeah, let's try this again. And hopefully we won't have any interruptions for my cat again. Let's fight the wizard clones. Yeah, I guess if we just destroy them straight away from where they stand and shoot- and meanwhile shoot balls at the wizard in the meantime, then I guess that's the best way to defeat him. I think. Yeah, good. I did it again. That means- that- that means it's not gonna just materialize it out thin air again. Defeat this clone. Defeat this clone. Wizard, why do you keep getting- throwing clones of yourself? And I have my cat next to me again. Ah, I have a cat wanting to sit on my lap. Okay, I guess I'll let my cat sit on my lap. And hey, we defeated the wizard, but not so fast. Like all good final bosses, he actually has a second form. So now we're gonna have to deal with his second form. This is epic. Oh my gosh. Ha ha ha. Do you think you can beat me? I'll show you my power. This is where the boss music gets epic. Here, we do get some awesome final battle music, and oh my gosh, what is that thing? It's a monster! Oh my gosh, this wizard means business now. Now, fortunately, this wizard actually has a pretty predictable attack pattern. This, the monster that he just summoned is going to basically... is going to basically create all these beams that, that are just going to bounce around and we have to dodge them. And then eventually he's going to send out another clone of himself, which we have to defeat somehow, and then hopefully a second form will be defeated. 
but isn't this a epic boss battle music? Let's get him! 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 We defeated him! See? That wasn't that hard! That was a pretty easy final boss battle! I'm speechless! And now... I'M A REAL BOY AGAIN! Says Pinocchio, I mean Jerry! And there's Emmy! Emmy! Oh my gosh, Emmy! Jerry! You're Jerry, right? I wanted to see you so much! Oh, me too! We waited all this time! All this time that Tom just caused trouble for us! And here comes Tom right now, speaking of the devil. Well, Tom, what do you have to say to yourself? Brother, please forgive me! I didn't want this to happen. I was just jealous. I didn't want an evil wizard to come by and 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 and. and, and. Aw, Jerry. Aw, isn't this a touching ending? Isn't this a really touching ending? Tom went through all this trouble of of. Tom went through all this trouble of sending an evil wizard after Jerry because he wanted Emmy to himself, which is a really selfish move on his part. And look. Directed by Satoshi Tajiri, what did I tell you? This was created by the same- and Kensuke Mori as well. Kensuke Mori is the art designer behind the Pokemon games. And Satoshi Tajiri was also- is also the director of Game Freak, and who also created the Pokemon games pretty much. So this is interesting, this is created by the pretty much the same people who created Pokemon. That's, that's kind of interesting. That's one thing I didn't know about this game until just recently. But yeah, I do find it kind of touchy. The game has kind of a lame plot, but nevertheless, it is a pretty fun platformer. It's a fun little platformer, and unfortunately, it doesn't have a, a save feature. So any of you who have played the actual SNES version of this game probably know that, that it doesn't- that you can't even save in this game, which kind of sucks. But fortunately, this game is pretty short to make up for it, and hey, it's just a fun little game. There's- there are interesting mechanics involving the- the slime form that Jerry is in, and the fact that he can- Press up, to, you know, the fact that you can stretch to defeat enemies and also shoot balls at enemies, so it's kind of an interesting platform. I like how it has all these cute little enemies, which makes sense, especially all the cute little mice, which makes sense because Pikachu is also a cute little mouse. But anyway, thank you everybody for watching this let's play, this let's play of Smart Ball, this let's play of Jerry Boy. And now it says Jerry Boy, the end, which in the English version will say Smart Ball, the end. Yes. We are done with this game, and it was pretty short. I mean, this basically took only nine videos. Nine videos! That's all it took! And I thought it was gonna take ten, actually, but it actually ended up only taking nine, just because the last level was so short, just like the rest of this game. But thank you, everybody! I, I, I hope you look forward to some of my other Let's Plays. And this has been an awesome game altogether. See, just stay tuned for my other Let's Plays that I have planned.